What do you mean am I seeing oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. How do I, how could I ever forget? Because I don't ever see you with someone here. But you are seeing your man in, um, in is it Switzerland or Sweden? Sweden. Sweden. That's it. That's it. And? He's Swedish. And do you guys talk every day? Because and... I heard that, um, actually, I became the topic after I left. And I'm thinking, why would these people wait for me to be weak in order for them to talk about my boyfriend? If there is anyone who will have the facts around that issue, it will be me. Why oh, would true. the whole table wait for me to leave and start discussing my personal life? And now I'm feeling so bad because I know that I shouldn't have said that. I know that I shouldn't have mentioned about her so-called online relationship, that's her business, and why did I do that? That, I felt, it was just weak. Because mm. now, if you guys are talking about me for the whole 30 minutes, you guys did not have anything to talk about at yeah. all. No, you're right. That's Because now, I'm not there, I'm weak, and people are just like going into your personal life like that. And I'm thinking, why, if, if that is pure gossip, because if you want facts, you will just come to me and ask me directly. Yeah. You have my number, you have my direct number, you talk to me on WhatsApp. If you wanted to say anything or you wanted to find out, you would do that. But to sit on the table for a whole 30 minutes and discuss me, I feel like, what's going on? I'm feeling like I just want to sink into the floor right now. When you were not okay, I did it from my heart to say, I'm gonna reach out to you. I did not need anyone to... So if you guys thought my relationship was really bad, then you should understand how painful that is. Oh, I'm sorry, that does seem like the case. Come to think of it, it does I'm seem sitting like that. here, I'm sick, trying to get my health back, and people are sitting on a table discussing things about love life. Yeah. That is so, so weak. It is actually. And it makes me feel like this kind of friendship is just, you, it's like, it's, cause Ms. Mops called me and said, I don't know what's going on, but you became the topic. So I'm so surprised now that Mpumi went and said something to Latabo because she didn't say anything at the table much about the whole issue other than the fact that, you know, she, she knew that this relationship existed and that it's fine and that she, she knows that, that it's, it's, it's a happening relationship pretty much. But she didn't say anything much and she didn't give us any detail. You know, she didn't make a stand for this whole thing. And I'm like, how do I become the topic when I'm not okay? If anyone needs answers, they must ask me. If they're gonna talk about me when I'm not there, it means they do not have anything to talk about. You know what? I have to tell you that you're 100% right. And I have to say that I was also part of that conversation and I'm really, really sorry. And you have every right to say what you're saying. I am absolutely apologetic to, to Latabo right now because I realized that, you know, right from the start, I shouldn't have been bringing this up at the table. And I think even though it came from quite a good point from my side, I was worried about the fact that she's having this online relationship that might be going nowhere. She's a beautiful girl. She needs to have something, you know, concrete. I really apologize for it. And I can't say that it was because of the alcohol. Please don't. I'm just <laughs> gonna say that whatever I did in bringing up your personal life in front of everybody in your absence was wrong was wrong, was wrong, and you, Not only was, and you were right. And I, I'm taking full responsibility for that discussion, okay? I appreciate I'm that. I'm taking full responsibility, and I, I started it, and the rest of the girls responded in whatever way they did. Um, but I'm very, very sorry, and you are 100% right. And I would also not enjoy that to be taking place in my absence. Yeah. If you were at the table, that's a totally different story. It is a totally yes. different story. Yes. Thank you so much for having me over, even though I know you wanted to strangle me. I did. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't care how sick I am. She's dying, this one today. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it wasn't my best moment, I have to tell you. Can Come I, here. Angel? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.